Okay guys, I'm back again with another pump and this one is a pressure boosting pump. It can also be used in a shallow well, but for my specific application, I'll be using it for pressure boosting. This pump can boost pressure up to 80 PSI, so it doesn't have any regulations on it. When I say regulations, I mean any regulator to regulate the flow. So once the pump is installed in the line, it would pump to its running pressure which is 80 psi so if your system inside your household cannot withstand that kind of pressure then it is required that you get some kind of um, pressure um, reducer a prv valve installed on the outlet of the pump to regulate that pressure um, but this is the box and i will be installing this today i hope this installation helps a lot of people or uh, help you guys out and we shall move from there i'm going to unbox it now Okay, so straight out of the box, we have the instruction manual. And under the instruction manual, there's the pump itself. I'll take it out and I'll put it in the shed where it is to be installed. Okay, guys, so this is the pump here. Um, as you can see, it's not big, it's quite small. Maybe if you were to measure it, it's two feet high, two feet length. Um, it comes with a one inch inlet and a one inch discharge so you know the inlet is by this stainless steel enclosure here and this is the discharge here and this pump if you look on the front it has power on pump on and pump failure and there's a restart button on the blue control panel here turn on the pump there's a switch on the back and this does not use a pressure switch because it regulates for based on what you use. So once, it, once you're using water inside the home, it would maintain that specific pressure. Once you stop using water, it would automatically reach its maximum pressure and then turn off. Okay, so I basically kind of have the pump in the position that I wanted. And this is how it would look when it is finished minus the plumbing. I'd have to do a little rerouting, but this is basically how it's going to look when I'm finished. Okay, so hey guys, back in this specific video. Um, because of the type of system I have here, the inlet is a one inch and I think they recommend a one inch um, piping, but the piping that I have here is three quarter inch, so I'm just going to use a reducer here to reduce from one inch to three quarter inch so that I could match the fittings that I have here. And the type of fittings that I'll be using here is um, PVC fittings for ease to make the installation a lot easier and it's the most common type of fittings here we normally use pvc fittings here so and these are much easier to get so this is how the setup looked thus far okay guys so here's the full setup um sorry about this plastic bag here's the full setup so in this video what you're going to need to install this pump is a burkham is a Burkham Chiquata half power booster pump. Um, so it doesn't really need much fittings. All you'd need is a one inch male adapter, two one inch male adapter, one for the inlet, one for the discharge. Then depending on how you're going to route your wire, your piping, sorry, depending on how you're going to route your piping, you would need some elbows and the pipe to reach to the pump. Um, right now it's finished setup. I'm not running it as yet. What I am waiting for, I'm waiting for the fittings to dry and then I'll give it a run. I'll see you guys shortly. Okay guys, this is the end result of the pressure boosting pump. I finished installing. I've done I've done my testing and now I would show you how it operates. When I turn on the pump, the pressure boosting pump, the pump itself starts to boost the pressure and upon turning off the discharge um, the pump would continue running until it reaches its desired pressure and then it would cut off i will show you that now i'll turn off the water and you would hear the pump when it cuts out and that part works beautifully so it's just for me i think i have to get the tool to measure the outlet pressure and then I could put on a PRV and then I would determine what's the way forward 
I should put on the PRV or not. I will check the pressure first and then I will determine if I should put on the PRV to prevent damage to the pipeline inside the household.